fucking wanker! Where, where am I? A fucking Scooby-Doo episode? Oh, and now I'm talking to myself. Great. I'm literally a fucking metaphor for third wave feminism. Whoa! <laughs> Jordan, where John baptized three. Well, I woke the devil in hell, saying, John ain't baptized me. I said, Roll Jordan, roll. Roll Jordan, roll. My soul arise in heaven, Lord, for the year when Jordan roll. Roll Jordan, roll. Roll Jordan, roll. My soul <gasps> Who goes there? I say, I say, show yourself, boy! Who am I, fuck on fucking leg on? Who's skulking around in the bushes? Are you doggers? If it is someone dogging, I... I respect your wildly liberal sexual lifestyle. But I'm... I'm more of a lights off, socks on, under the covers kind of guy. So if it's okay with you, I'll, uh... I'll be on my way. <laughs> Not fucking cool, guys! You can't just go around throwing sacks over people and stealing them! It's not! North America circa 1603. <laughs> oh, did I say North America? I meant Iraq circa forever. <laughs> hey, hey, guys! Guys! Fred Flintstone called. He wants his TV back. <laughs> Guys, you get it? Because your TV's old. Guys. Oh, wow. I love this show. The Big Bang. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Charles Ginsburg, father of the videotape, sent a telegram. He wants, he wants his technology back. <laughs> no, nope, kill me. Kill me now, please. I want to die, thank you. Can somebody make this happen, please? <clears throat> thank you, good sir. A merciful act. Just before I die. What's in this dart? Some form of toxic venom. Very old sperm. Just intro crushed into liquid form. <laughs> you fucking monster! Why do you guys like headdresses so much? Well, how else are you supposed to know where someone lives? Oh, headdress. Sorry, between all the me sleeping tortoise and Man with bow tie says, I, I couldn't understand a bloody word he was saying. <laughs> I deserve that. That headdress goes really well with your privilege. Ha <laughs> ha Well, thank you very much. If I'm being honest, I, I didn't think you'd notice. It was a bargain too. Only cost me a few blankets. <laughs> I didn't know it was smallpox. Why do you always ask me how native I am? <laughs> a little misunderstanding. What, what I was actually saying was how native I am. Why should I have to prove myself to you? <laughs> Said every feminist ever. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> and rightfully so. That's, that's what I always say. Feminists. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't convinced either. It's so weird to have someone immediately want to quantify my identity. Fat. Fat. I I'm making a fat joke because she said quantify. And she's, y y you know, a little. I don't have to explain myself to you. That's just as personal as asking me my birthday, my weight, or my bra size. <laughs> yeah, all right. Woman who has 10 cats. I'm sure it's exactly the same. <laughs> I'm kind of milking that joke at this point, right? Why do you tell me I don't look like a Native American? Wait, what? Native American? Sorry, I'm really confused. You don't look European in the slightest. What the f*** does a Native American look like? Should I put some war paint on? Should I make my hair longer? 
I mean, would it hurt? Will you fucking quit it? Oh, sorry. I didn't know that white people were the authority on what Native Americans look like. Well, it's uh, funny you should say that. <laughs> Awkward. Why do you think we get everything for free? Sorry, my bad. I think I've got you confused with Democrats. I don't get casino money, I do pay taxes, and I have student loans up to here. No casino money and lots of debt? Jesus, why don't you just officially hang up your ovaries to dry while you're at it? If somebody wants to pay for my student loans at any time, please send me a check. Oh, how very socialist of you. Okay, no problem. Let me just pull out my checkbook and... This is Dicko to base. Repeat Dicko to base. I've got a code red. Please dispatch a helicopter to my location for physical removal service. Over. What's it like seeing yourself accurately portrayed in the media? In every single movie and TV show and news outlet. What's that like? I would love to know. What? Being portrayed as a racist, bigoted, misogynistic, oppressive, privileged, appropriating shit stain on the planet? It's so good. Why do you guys think we all know each other? Psh, psh, psh. What boulder dash? Pfft. Such nonsense. There are more than five million Native Americans in America. Do all white people know each other? Well, of course not. That's absurd. Oh, hey there, dicko. Hey, Frank. How's the family? Good, good. You know, kids, they grow up so fast. They do. <laughs> they do. So how you been? I can't complain. Excellent. How are you enjoying our land? It's pretty nice, right? I would love some of that land too. Anything else I can get you? Cold beverage? Base, this is Dicko. I'm currently surrounded by communist scum. Abort, repeat, abort the physical removal service. Just get me an evac ASAP. So, how's the, uh, the weather around these parts? That's nice. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, well, uh, this is me, guys. Thanks for the uh, narcotics and the kidnapping. It's been terrible. <laughs> Driver must be new. Probably a woman. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> no, that's just sexist. I'm sure they make very competent pilots. Pilots and uh, sandwiches. Such <laughs> Uh, sandwiches. <laughs>